Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a darst choke, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. The darst does it again, here's Joe. All right, I'm here with the winner, Dustin Poirier. Dustin, a a an excellent fight, an excellent victory for you. You came out very aggressive. There were some pretty heated exchanges there. Seemed like you were really looking to get things started in this fight quickly. Yeah, man, you know, we only have 15 minutes to get it done, so I'm not trying to waste any time. 15 minutes ain't too long. You know, I come here to fight, man. It's been seven months. I fought the Korean zombie, and I, and I wanted to come back and, and make a statement here. Now, you were, you were very aggressive. It seemed like he caught you with a couple of punches. Were, were, you, expect, were you shocked by that at all? Well, you know, uh, I came in here. I knew Brookings had a, a solid cross, you know, but uh, he hurt me early on against the fence and just started throwing wild. Luckily, I clipped his chin and made him back up a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the final exchange. You caught him with some heavy shots. You were really swarming on him, and Brookins tried to take it down to the ground, and as soon as he did, you sunk in your favorite choke. Let's talk us through this here, man. When he, when he grabbed for you, when he reached for that single, what were you thinking? I was thinking, you know, I watched a lot of his last fight, and, and, and he got caught against the fence in the Anaconda, and when he gave it to me, I was like, this is unreal, this isn't, he's not doing it again, and, and sure enough, it was in there, bro. It's got to feel sweet for you as well, winning on this choke, especially considering you lost via that same choke in your last fight. Yeah, man, it's redemption, but something even cooler than that is I tried out for the season that Jonathan Brookins won. So here's my ultimate fighter finale, you know what I mean? Listen, congratulations, outstanding performance. You are one of the most promising prospects in the division. Look forward to seeing you again. Dustin the Diamond Poirier, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kim Winslow has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pat H.D. Barry. How oh, emotional as always. I'm here with the winner, one of the most exciting heavyweights on the planet, Pat Barry. Pat, you're very, very emotional right now. Tell me what's going through your mind. This is a huge, huge victory for you. Man, it's been a, it's a, it's a rough, it's a rough ride uh, coming out here. Anybody who says they don't get nervous before a fight is a liar, or they've never been hit in the head, man. It's just been a lot of ups and downs. I woke up yesterday to the worst text message I ever got about the incident yesterday. Uh, hey, if you've got kids, hug them like as if it's the last day. Go hug your parents. Go hug your best friends. And if you have any beef with anybody, from 10 years ago, that's over nothing, man. Tell him you're sorry and you love him because you never know what's going to happen, man. Joe, I really want to go home, man. Rose, I'm coming home. I'm going to hug you for 15 hours straight. That's beautiful, man. Listen. <laughs> This is, a, this is a huge fight for you. This is a, a crazy matchup. Shane Del Rosario, Muay Thai world champion. We knew this was gonna be fireworks. It was fireworks and, and you came out in, in Pat Berry fashion and, and ended this fight in a, in a devastating way. How are you feeling right now? Hey man, I'm feeling ridiculously emotional. I've got a, I've got a team behind me that's a thousand percent, man. We've got the, the immortal Greg Nelson, the everlasting Trevor Whitman. I got Mike right here, yeah, y'all watch out. They got a lefty that's coming that's nasty, man. I just, I told you since day one, I'm throwing heat or I'm not throwing nothing. I'm either win all the way or I'm losing all the way. There's no in between. Pat, then you showed that your last few fights. Take a look at the big screen. And this is winning all the way, my friend. Look at this devastating left hand that starts it off. Tell me what you think when you see him hurt. Uh, I'll be honest, I had a few, uh, I had to, I had to, there was a thin line between what I wanted to do and what I thought I should do. And, you never know, man. That dude's jujitsu is disgusting. So maybe he was baiting me. I, I debated on whether or not the last time I rushed somebody, I woke up and thought I won, and Chad Congo really won. <laughs> well, listen, this time it paid off, and it paid off big. I'm still winning two to one, Chad. <laughs> Pat Barry, you're, 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 you're an incredible fighter and a beautiful human being. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Pat Barry, 